no wait weather. All right, uh, Wednesday night. It's cold out there once again, but uh, our conditions are going to be on the up and up as we close out this work week. And it's been a cold start to the month of November. 27 your high today and look at where we typically see for highs at this time of the month of November. Typical lows are around 22 degrees and we're going to be a little closer to that 39 degree number over the next couple of days. Grand Forks typically 37 the high for this time of the year. We'll be going the right direction over the next 24 hours. But it is cold right now, 19 in the FM area. 10 is what it feels like with just a seven mile per hour wind. Look at the temperatures in the Northern Valley, the Devil's Lake Basin. Fives are pretty common, including Grand Forks. We also have that in Devil's Lake and in Langdon as well. And if you are in Bemidji, 16 is the chilly temperature factor in the winds. And yeah, it's not fun to be out with exposed skin. And not only that, we've had flakes flying, nothing significant here in the valley, but I've turned the sensitivity way up so it sees the weakest of returns on our radar display here. Usually we call this the noise category, but actually some flakes of snow drifting through the atmosphere south of Highway 200. There's not a lot in the way of clouds out in the central part of the Dakotas. Some snow showers showing up in the uh, Black Hills area and points south into Nebraska. Other than that, our region fairly quiet. Overnight, temperatures will continue to fall, but as we go towards morning, see this bank of clouds moving in. That'll actually cause those chilly readings in the Devil's Lake Basin to warm just a pinch as we begin our Thursday. But most of us will start out chilly, so be prepared for those whoo, 10 degree readings in the morning. Now look at this. Some snow showers along the international border in northern Minnesota, a possibility. There's a cool pool up to the north of that, but most of us will be on the warm side of the system throughout the better part of our Thursday. With west southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour, so remember, Hutch says use a little hairspray tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be breezy, but warmer. Uh, yes, a few of us in northern Minnesota will see spotty showers of snow, but all in all, it looks pretty good. And this cold air chunk diving into northern Minnesota, you can actually see where it backs in here and this leading edge of clouds. So the coldest of the air doesn't make its way all the way down to Lisbon or Oaks for the afternoon and late part of the day tomorrow. In Fargo, we start out on chilly note, 12 degrees, ramp things up into the mid 30s, almost average for this time of year. We'll take that. West winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at temperatures. Notice the almost green shades down here. That's going to be close to 40 degrees in places like Aberdeen, Oaks, Ellendale. But as we go to the north and east, it'll be cooler. But look at this, still near 30 degrees. And again, best chance of any flaky weather, northern and central portions of Minnesota. And uh, Vincent capturing this beautiful view of that engine working its way through the Oaks area. Just a picture perfect day with a little snow on the ground. Definitely colder than we like this time of the year, but we're going to warm things up a bit there, Vincent. On Friday, 34 degrees and breezy. Again, another day with some wind. Saturday, unsettled with a few spits here and there. Nothing serious. A few flakes, a few spits of showers. Looks like temperatures will be near 40 both Saturday and Sunday. And look at this. Sticks around for much of next week as well with hit and miss showers here and there. Uh, nothing overly wet, which is good news with as wet as we've been this fall season, mm -hmm. but definitely a bit warmer, and Hutch is happy about that. Yeah, a lot of people are. And Mike is, too. He's got to watch the llama tonight. That's the goal. So. Yeah, yep. keep Mike happy. Yep. Thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs>